Hello there, yours truly, coming in with a words of wisdom in 2024. It's time to get back to my fundamentals. It's been a while. It's time to be compelled, inspired, and wiser again. Kicking off with this vlog, greed, greed, nothing about the greed. Money, 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 all about the mighty dollar, dollar. Show me the green, spare me the means. Yes, we need the money to pay our bills, rent, mortgage, meet our needs, supply, support, and treat ourselves with money. It's never the dollar that's evil, but it's the root and the intent of the dollar. Using money for power and control, that's evil, period. No debate, no contest. Using money for personal gain over somebody else's family, friend, or even foe, that's evil. Using money for bribery, hush, hush, paying to keep away from the consequences, that's evil. Because pretty much someone with money can just be above the law, get out of jail for free card or cards, and free from serving time due to their crimes or crimes. That is where money is evil. Money is a tool, same tool as how firearms are. Revolver, semi, semi-automatic, automatic, machine, shotgun, rifle, any one of them. Still to this day in 2024, they are paperweights that, don't, that doesn't move on itself. Yep, they don't just float on their own and begin firing bullets from their own clips and chambers hitting random people, places, or structures. No, those are in the hands of evil people whose hearts are filled with hate, rage, and destruction. Money does build bridges, but money can burn them too. Money builds houses and can destroy them too. Let's be real. We all know why this world's on fire and why America is Babylon 2024. Greed is destroying this nation, literally from the from the top down top, the down top, reverse domino effect. Sure, CEOs, mega corps, big pharma, banks, lobbyists, and politicians. Yes, they are. Yes, the down top effect. Now I'm going to exclude celebrities, athletes, musicians, rappers because they are on commissions. Very, very multi-million dollar commissions. Now, pop quiz, lightning round, family and friends. Let's lose our common sense, logic, and reasonings. Those multi-million dollar commissions dries up fast. Remember, nothing lasts forever. Name a celebrity, athlete, musician, rappers, he or she who is still in their mega mansion who last multi-million dollar paycheck was 20 years ago. Imagine if it was 30 years ago. Shoot, imagine 40 years ago. You think he or she is still wealthy, still balling? You'll find them as an indie author, artist, carpenter, electrician, plumber, IT specialist, manager in retail, food service, or groceries, living in a one- or two-bedroom apartment, or living back with their parents who are still alive. Plus, you know how much an actor or actress whether he or she is A-list, B-list, C-list, or D-list, have to pay slash payback from the studios, rentals, sag for a membership, their talent agents, lawyers, insurance, his or her $2 million paycheck with paying the taxes, he or she is going to have about, you know, 250 k or more or less. That's a lot, but in this recession, rent inflation, that $250,000 check will be depleted by the end of October 2026 if you're conservative with your money. If not, it's going to be gone before then. So they aren't balling like the mainstream media portrays them to be. Now, those with the liquid dollars, the rivers, are the CEOs, studio executives, any professional sport team owners. Not the players, the owners. That's where the money rolls and ends. Sadly, that's where evil lies, too. None of them are paying their share. None of them are paying their taxes. Thanks to the loopholes, leeways, catering, the tax breaks, the tax exempts for a million billionaires. Not just Donald J. Trump, who's smart enough to take advantage of not paying taxes. Warren Buffett even bragged about it. I could end the national debt in five minutes. The national debt that's currently at $34.27 trillion. Trillion with a capital T. Trillion dollars to fit one trillion dollars on a pallet, you need about 10,000 pallets. You need an airport hangar to fit 
10,000 pallets. This nation's debt is 34 trillion. So that's about 340,000 pallets. Now we're in this world where anybody can have the room, space, building, hangar, stadium to fit 340,000 pallets. Yeah. So yeah, Warren Buffett's own words boast that he can end this national debt. Absolutely. In fact, if you're spending your own money, you're not wealthy. That's a quote. That's how the wealthy stay wealthy. Let me repeat that again. If you're not, if you're spending your own money, you are not wealthy. And we, the taxpayers, are paying for all this. These wars, which is why nations all across the globe have money for war. Money is, they got money for war, money for these open border policies. Not one million billionaire corporation charity are giving these illegals money, thousands of dollars of gift cards, housing and five-star hotels, free airfare, fresh new clothes, EBT cards, free health care, licenses, and brand new iPhones. Yet they, they, yep, they're out here committing crimes in California, in New York, in Chicago, Atlanta, and coming soon, Del, um, in Denver, Colorado. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So, yep, it's on our taxes, not the CEOs, not the studio execs, not the millionaires, not the politicians. It's on us, all of us. That's why it's we're in a record-breaking inflation in a recession. Hey, somebody has to pay for the open border policy, also for the cheap labor, because why pay someone a healthy, livable wage at 100% with doing 100% of work? Well, you could pay somebody 5% of that 100%, and that works 100%. Yep, greed is the reason why all this is going on. These wars, take your pick, the Russia-Ukraine conflict, the Hamas-Israel wars, and and, uh, and with the Houthi and the Middle East, the Korean, the Chinese, and the Civil War, the open border gate with Hispanics from South America, but also you got the open borders for the Asians, you got it for the Ukrainians, you got it for the Afghanistans. So it's not just the Hispanics now. Let's not let's not pick on them because the open border is for other foreign entities. So yeah, yep. Yeah. Yeah. America has centuries, century-old railroads, old-fashioned infrastructures, pothole-ridden infra- interstates, city roads, outdated, dilapidated power plants, and worst of all, poisonous and deadly water still in Flint, Michigan, and Alabama. But nobody has money for those. Nobody has money for home. Why is that? Oh, yeah, war. Oh, yeah, open border policies. So, yeah, do your own research and development on how much Chachin has been sent to Ukraine since 2022. It's been sent to the Middle East since, what, the 60s? Go, I dare you. I triple dog dare you. Go and Google how much we, the taxpayers, have been giving both the Middle East, Ukraine, and now the open borders. Greed is why we're struggling, burning, and dying in the same. And the same how Babylon fell, I saw and Gomorrah burnt to ash, and while ancient Rome fell, greed is the first spark of this wildfire. Why there's no end, and why these politicians who are in their 70s, 80s, and pushing 90s still, still, still in power and control. No retirement, no term limits. Why greed and greed are keeping that power and control? Power and control is to racism, the power over others, whether you, whether you, They look like you or not. The control to determine and dictate yours and other fates. That's racism because racism is about race to get and stay in first place to get that gold star, the gold medal, the gold trophy and to keep to continue the power and control to maintain the CEOs, politicians, studio execs, lobbyists to continue to keep the greed that fuels their greed. Speaking of race, we're now at the finish line and my words of wisdom on greed. So this race is over. Yours truly cashing out.